What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and we are here at the Voice of College Football. If you're an Alabama fan, please subscribe to our Alabama channel. Help us get to 1,000 subscribers. In this video, we're going to preview the 2022 schedule for the Crimson Tide. Before we look at the new schedule, let's look back at the 2021 schedule. Alabama had a tougher schedule in 2021 than than it has in recent years. Not really because the actual schedule was tougher, but just because the teams that they played have gotten better, like Tennessee, like Arkansas. And they did have to play Florida out of the SEC East. They played Miami in the non-conference. We thought that that was going to be maybe a little bit tougher than it was. Of course, Alabama rolled in that game. And then they did have Florida there in week three on the road, a game that wound up being pretty close course Florida kind of went off the rails from there uh, their season did not go all that well but at that time they were they seemed like a pretty good football team uh, they played Ole Miss at home were really impressive in that game Texas A&M tripped them up that was the first time that Alabama lost to a former assistant of course and it was a, a big loss we thought at the time but at the end of the day it really didn't mean anything Alabama still won out they still won the SEC championship they were still the number one seed in the college football playoff uh, so that went, that loss really didn't hurt them at all. If anything, it might have kind of woke them up a little bit. It might have been a good thing. They played Mississippi State after that on the road. Were really impressive in that game. Uh, Tennessee and that offense gave them a little bit of trouble, but they pulled away in that game. LSU wound up being a close game, and that's when we LSU was kind of the first team to really expose that offensive line. Uh, they were blitzing like crazy. Arkansas uh, got after Bryce Young a little bit. Auburn played them really well. Uh, but give LSU some credit for what they were able to do on defense and keeping that game close. But Alabama was able to to get the win there, beat Arkansas in a close one, beat Auburn in a close one, and then, of course, go on to win the SEC and come uh, one game away, one win away from a national championship uh, when they lost the rematch to Georgia. So let's fast forward to 2022. And here is the schedule. Before we kind of break it down game by game, let's take a look at who they play outside of their division because of course they will play every team in the sec west so outside of the sec west this is who alabama plays in the non-conference they'll play utah state they will play on the road at texas which is really interesting ulm and austin p so obviously ulm and austin p gonna be easy wins but texas on the road possibly a challenge for alabama and probably not i think the texas offense maybe can challenge the tide and they'll be able to score some points but Overall, Alabama is just so much above Texas right now as a program, and with everything they have coming back, that shouldn't be too big of a test. Uh, but it, it'll be interesting. Steve Sarkeesian there at Texas, of course, was just at Alabama a couple years ago. Uh, so that is is definitely an interesting matchup, an interesting matchup there. And Utah State's not a not a team that you're just going to go in there and roll over. I don't, I haven't looked in depth at Utah State to see what all they have coming back this year, but they were pretty good last year. So that could be a game where. Um, it's not a, a 50 point win, but Alabama, you know, should still be clear favorites. And they get a pretty good draw out of the SEC East. Of course, they play Tennessee every year, but their other opponent will be Vanderbilt. So now that Tennessee is finally looking pretty good and they have to play them on the road, their other SEC East opponent is Vanderbilt. So that works out pretty well for Alabama. They'll open up with that game against Utah State, and then they'll play on the road at Texas, ULM there, and Vanderbilt. So the month of September. Not too tough for Alabama. Texas will be their toughest game. But like I said, if you just look at these teams and these programs, Alabama is so much above Texas right now, even on the road. It's hard to see Alabama really being challenged in that game. It could be a good one, though. We'll see. Uh, I think it, I don't think it'll be a similar to Utah State. It's not going to be a 50-point win. It could be. It's Alabama. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I think Texas will score some points, and it'll be, it'll be an entertaining, entertaining game. But still, Alabama should be able to cruise through the month of September. The month of October, a little bit tougher. They'll play Arkansas on the road. Arkansas, again, played Alabama tough last year. It's a team with a lot coming back. A lot of preseason expectations, I think, for Arkansas this year. Probably a preseason top 15 team. Then they'll play Texas A&M after that. Uh, of course, revenge will be on the minds of Alabama in this one. Uh, so I, I think... If I'm an Alabama fan, I feel pretty good about that game. It might be one of the tougher teams that you play, but playing at home, revenge game, you got to like Alabama's chances in that one. Tennessee, after that on the road, could be a challenge there. The Vols uh, should have a good offense with Hendon Hooker back at quarterback, and we know what they did last year against Alabama. So 
We'll see if Tennessee can maybe close the deal and keep that game close in the fourth quarter this time. And then Mississippi State there to close out the month of, of October. I really haven't given Alabama much trouble in recent years. So it's it's really about that three-game stretch. Arkansas, Texas A&M, and Tennessee. That's the three that's the toughest three game stretch I think on this schedule. And so you'll learn a lot about Alabama right there in the middle of the season, right there in the month of October. Going into November, they'll have a bye week before playing LSU. Who knows what LSU is going to look like? Totally different team, new coaching staff. Uh, it is on the road though. It is death Valley. So you never know. Uh, but after a bye week, uh, that that's a good spot for a, a bye week there before playing LSU because it's on the road at LSU, and then it's on the road at Ole Miss. So back-to-back road games, and hey, we're talking back-to-back. That might be the toughest back-to-back for Alabama, the only back-to-back road games on the schedule uh, with, Alabama, with LSU and then Ole Miss. Ole Miss's offense you would expect to be pretty good, so that could be a, an entertaining game there. Austin P. and then Auburn at the end of the season at home. Uh, it seems like the Iron Bowl is, is always a really, really close, dramatic game or it's a blowout for Alabama. And playing at home this year with this team, you might lean more towards the blowout for Alabama this time uh, as they will, again, close things out. When With the Iron Bowl, overall schedule, it's not too bad. You get to play Vanderbilt out of the East. Texas is the big non-conference game uh, that I don't think is going to be too tough for them. But a, a tough stretch there in October and then a tough back-to-back in November with LSU and Ole Miss on the road back-to-back. But still a schedule... Uh, that I think leads Alabama to still be the favorite in the SEC West. 